Hey guys, Prime Majors 1986 here. Uh, today I wanted to post a video over Outcast issue 22, um, the ticking clock. So, where we left off in the last issue, River Anderson and Kyle, they were chasing after Brian into the woods. So, and also, man, look at this cover. It's very simplistic looking at first, but if you really look at it, you can see like little demon looking faces in the footprints. See, look how cool that is, man. That's what I love about these covers. If you really look close, you can find some really neat little things in there. I think it's so damn cool. A lot of people really overlook that, honestly, but I enjoy it a lot. And right here, um, you know, it's where they basically send a search party after Brian. And that's uh, Sydney says, you know, sh that he's going to take Rose, which is, is, of course, Brian's wife, home. Here we have him running through the woods. Looks like he's in pain. Maybe it's because of the of the snow. Well, you can see it falls on his head, and it seems like you know that since that water hurts him, I'd assume snow would too, since it's the form of water, you know. So uh, maybe that's why he's in a lot of pain, just running in the cold in general. You know, who knows? Um, but you know, here they are looking for him, and you know, Kylie and points out that you know they're probably not the only ones looking for him. That you know the demons are all, are also, and of course they are. And uh, here they are trying to look for him. There they are, and see you can see the flashlights coming through the woods. You can see the oh shit look on their face. <laughs> And see, there he is where he goes, you know, uh, cold, so cold. You know, it's cold, so. You see, he seems very, very puzzled by it. So, and here we have him and the animal facing off, which I really, really like this. At first, I was like, this is kind of weird, but then I thought, you know, in your typical um, demon movies and whatnot, you, you typically see animals acting different toward paranormal activity. And I feel like this is Robert Kirkman's little spin on that, maybe. I don't know, but I think it's kind of neat. It kind of shows like the animalistic side of both of them, honestly, that like they're facing off like animals, you know, like he is also. Of course, here we see them yelling Brian. You see, it's where again he's kind of like an animal, it's growling at them, you know. You know, he's like, oh, Brian, you recognize me? I think we should go, you know, sit, step back or whatnot. <laughs> See, I like this. He says, leave me alone, you know. Now what you do, all you do is fail. So, you know. And see, they're really interesting. More dialogue about outcasts. You grow uh, far too confident, outcasts. There are so many more of us than there are of your kind. Your cause is hopeless. So it's cause, what do you know about my kind? What cause? So he's trying to find more answers. So... Their cause. See, because we know we know from a couple of issues ago that Kyle is obviously, you know, hit the outcast. They seem to be from hell where the demons are from. And like maybe they were like in charge or they had authority, but the demons didn't like that, so they kicked it, you know, the outcast out. But what exactly is their cause is what I'm wondering. Was it a good cause or a bad cause? You know, if it's from hell, I'd imagine it'd be a bad one, so I don't know. I guess that would kind of make you wonder who's really the bad guy, the demons or the outcasts, if they're from the same place. I don't know. It's very, very interesting here. Um, so, anyhow, they chase him, of course. And, uh, of course, they take him into this little barn, you know, to hide from the people that are chasing them. It's like a horror movie, I like it, you know, where there's somebody chasing them and they go into a barn to hide. It's kind of neat. I really do like the horror aspect. So, I mean, this whole issue, I was worried, oh god, they're going to get found, you know. This is like a game of hide-and-go-seek, you know, so. Here you go, you know, where they, uh, he pulls up a shirt and he shoves it in his mouth to keep him shut up, basically. <laughs> River Anderson's now shirtless, so, man. <laughs> oh man but you know they go to that to check out the barn or whatnot, and right now they're about to go in 
as you can see, they're like right there with them. Uh, the wolf comes up and starts to attack them. So it's really interesting. I kind of wonder if, there's, if they're going to ever explain if there's you know animals and demons are somehow related or if this is just a coincidence, you know. Because again, with paranormal movies and whatnot, you know, animals act different. So I kind of wonder if they're going to explain that. I don't know. Of course, there's Reverend Anderson saying the Lord provides. So maybe it's one of those moments. Who knows? And see, I like this where, you know, he starts laughing and Kyle's like, oh shit, you know, it's not working. His touch is not affecting him, which that really, really puzzles me. Uh, you know, last issue, you know, I think I kind of mentioned this part also. Um, you know, Kyle says something about how the people there were getting merged. And Brian may not be fully merged. So, you know, and again, my theory is correct. Meaning that the merge is where a human and a demon can completely coexist together. And maybe that means that, you know, he's not all the way merged. I, I don't know. It's so interesting. Because maybe that's why maybe he's merged a little bit. And that's why it's, you know, his effect or his touch is not affecting him. The sun starts to come up. So basically Kyle does the only thing he knows how to do in this situation. He goes, I'm sorry I have to do this. And he starts beating the ever-living shit out of him. I mean, beats the ever-living hell out of Officer Giles. I mean, look, there's freaking blood over the white ground, man. <laughs> and of course, right there where he's saying to stop, all that black stuff comes out. And again, it's really neat seeing the artwork. You see, like, little, looks like little hands or something, you know? It kind of reminds you of, like, a little hand, like, right here on the figure of the show version. So, kind of interesting. And just like on a TV show, it kind of picks him up some, which is kind of cool. I don't recall this happening in the comic yet. If it did, I just don't remember, but. That's really interesting. I like that. Of course, go there to check up on him. There's that scar again. It's pretty cool looking at that. Looks like it's starting to heal up a lot better, you know? See, Kyle says, please tell me he is. And I wonder if he wondered if he was in a coma, like how his mom and that one girl was, or dead. I don't know. I think he was worried he was in a coma. And, you know, they're asking if he's okay, if they can hear him. And he barely gets out the words, thank you. So, he's very, very fucked up. <laughs> you know, he's he's beat to hell. Um, I'm wondering, you know, what if he dies? That'd be messed up, you know, if they saved him, but he died because he got beat to hell or something. I don't know. That'd be kind of interesting, but I don't think he will, but it would be pretty fucked up. Um, that's kind of weird. I was looking for the uh, picture for the new issue coming out, and it's not in here. So, but I mean, I've I've seen it online. It's just that it's usually in here, you know. I mean, they got an advertisement for book one, collects issues one through two. It's available this month. So, of course, there's a season one stuff, and season two coming 2017 with Cinemax. So don't forget that, guys. Season two of the show comes out. Um, I think in February. I can't remember. So. But yep, that's it for this issue, though, guys. Uh, very, very nice issue. I'm wondering what happens next. Maybe we can get out of this last little story arc because this last little story arc has lasted probably three to four issues, and it's only been maybe one day, so or it's been two or three days. So I'm glad to finally kind of move away from this and get to something else. Uh, it kind of got boring, honestly, a little bit for a couple of issues. So. Hopefully, we can get some more interesting stuff, some more answers. Um, if you guys are enjoying this comic, uh, let me know. Leave uh, your thoughts in the comment section. I want to hear your theories. Maybe we can you come up with some together. Um, but, yeah, as of for tonight, though, guys, that's it for this review. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.